I recently replaced my uh, Mi Photo tripod ball head with the Acrotec GP-SS with lever ball head. This just came in the mail this week. So let's go ahead and open it up. Very simple box, no fuss, no muss. Couple pieces of instructions. Just a piece of foam. Let's come over to the side. And inside is the ball head. So this is the ball head. It is it really feels just full on metal. The reason I thought I'd do a quick video on this is because I really didn't find many videos about this particular ball head. There's the one that's larger than this, essentially more for pro level cameras, and then there's this one. This is kind of like the pro line that they have. The reason I re replaced the Mi Photo ball head, which kind of sort of did a good job, it's in use right now with, on one of the cameras, is because the levers essentially are a metal lever with a rubber plastic ring around it to help tighten the lever. The problem is it, would kept, it kept slipping and I could never really tell that it was fully tightened or not. So I didn't like that piece and then I also didn't like that it had the screw to constantly uh, screw the Arca Swiss plate in and out because I use my camera with a L plate and I really wanted to use both the bottom and the side pieces, so both in horizontal and in vertical mode. So this essentially fit the bill. Saw some really great reviews about this particular company, Acrotec. All the stuff is really well machined and also made in the US, so why not? Anyways, so here it is. What you can see here is, well, let's first measure the weight. How much does it weigh? Uh, we can start in ounces, sure. So with the quick release plate, it's 14 and a half ounces or 410 grams exactly. So to give you an idea about how much it weighs, I know the Mi Photo one weighs less, uh, but not by much. Manfrotto has ball heads that have a lever released to them, but they're just so hefty. And I think the one that I had was almost 800 grams all on its own. So I decided to get this one instead. This main screw tightens and loosens the actual ball head. So if you let go, you can move it around. It has a little bubble level up top for the quick release plate up on the top. There's the spacer that makes it smaller and larger. So the plate has a locking lever on top that you can push on one side to unlock. It goes all the way around and you can remove the quick release very easily. To lock it, you just twist it towards the other way until you hear a click, then it's locked, will not unfasten. It has a little pin in here to prevent the quick release plate from sliding around. This particular bolt in here is actually quite nice because not only does it have an Allen, it also has a flat. Uh, I've tried to replace quick release plates on a lot of different camera uh, ball heads and inside the Allen just keeps getting stripped. On this side is a smaller knob. This particular knob essentially um, determines how loose the ball head is when it is not fastened tight. So if I unfasten this, it's out essentially all the way. It's supposed to be fully loose. If I let go of this all the way, and it's extremely loose. If I tighten this, it still will move just much less. The last adjustment knob that's left on here is this particular knob and this knob is for the panning. So if you unscrew that, the whole head just pans. Now one of the things that I haven't really fully tried out yet, but I think I kind of got the hang of, where the ball head, you see it has a little notch in the ball itself, right there. That notch specifically fits into a groove. And, and locks the ball now in place. Now that now the head is not moving side to side is very stiff. So you can, I guess, technically, um, tighten it up and have your camera on an L plate or whatever and still do 
vertical panoramas. I haven't tried this out yet. Uh, the last trick that I still haven't tried out is essentially that the plate here can be removed, then this particular base mounted to the tripod and the plate itself mounted to the top here. And that's supposed to allow for the ability to do, to do rotations, pans like this. At the top, I'm not sure, I just don't understand why this is much better or much different or more beneficial, and maybe somebody can let me know, than just doing it in this orientation like this, as long as you got the, the top right here. Uh, leveled straight and maybe that's the problem you can't level this maybe I don't know maybe somebody can tell me but so anyways uh, so far so good it had extremely fast shipping on amazon.com the link I'll leave down below uh, definitely was not a cheap ball head there's a million different ball heads out there and you know everybody has their own budget and their own requirements to work through but I have ended up purchasing so many different items as duplicates that in the end I just wanted to buy one ball head and use it for a very long time. So I didn't want a massive ball head, I wanted it to be just big enough for essentially my A7R2 with a 70-200 lens on it. And I think that this will more than do the job. I'd r rather keep the kit as light as possible. and this. Acrotec GPSS ball head will fit the bill and I'm sure I'll uh, come back and talk about it later on again but this is the first such review and let me know what you think.